This is an early fight from Vinny Pazienza as he goes on a two-fight tour of Italy. He comes in with a record of 13-0 with 11 knockouts against the marginal opposition you might expect for a fighter starting out. Uh, he's been a pro for a year and a half at this point and is taking his first baby step up, going up against uh, veteran Bruno Simili. Uh, Simili's record is 20 wins against 6 losses and 6 draws, according to the broadcast, but... Looking at his box rec, it was really 19 wins against 8 losses and 6 draws. And even that is misleading as he's lost 7 of his last 8 going into this contest. Uh, he's ventured out of his native Italy only twice, uh, both times to Switzerland, and he lost both of those fights. So he's brought in as cannon fodder, and this is strictly a showcase for Vinny Pazienza. He passed fights again 2 weeks later after this bout, and loses officially for the first time during this tour of Italy, but uh, I'll save that story in video for later. Very colorful, very flashy. We'll see how he handles things tonight here in Italy. Extremely outgoing and loquacious. And Vinny Paz should feel right at home here in Italy, Arthur. Yes, yeah, seemingly uh, uh, seems to be coming in with a little scar tissue above both eyes, uh, which shows that he's a veteran. And his record indicates that he's been around a long time. And he's a very durable, strong looking fighter. And it's interesting to see them wearing white gloves. I wonder what it would be if there's any blood, how that'll appear on the gloves. Very colorful. Vinny Pazienza, a legend in New England, seemingly will truly be tested tonight. Uh, Paz, fabled amateur career, Golden Gloves champion, AAU champion, 100 wins, 12 defeats of the amateurs on the USA's international team. Left the amateurs as the number one rated 132 pounder. But we'll see what kind of effect it has on him, Arthur, in terms of him moving up for the first time in weight class tonight. Well, it probably will make him stronger. He's gained that extra weight, but he seems to have that uh, that same uh, bad habit of dropping his left uh, his left uh, arm, and he picks it up when he's jabbing. And of course. Uh, he also led with a right, and I'm quite sure that Lou Duver would admonish him on leading with a right immediately. The referee is Giovanni Spolverato, and on the topic of uh, the hands in terms of pass, he's got the good hand speed, but as you point out, has a tendency to uh, drop the left hand, uh, keep it dangling near his waist, as you could see just now. And this really is an invitation. Yeah, and Paz did something. Excuse me, Steve. He did something there that I, I'm quite sure you detected. He was in a clinch, and he came out in the southpaw style and immediately reverted right back to the orthodox style. I haven't seen him do that before. Now, here he did it again, leading with that right. As you can see, Vinny Paz is lightning quick, extremely confident. In fact, at one point during his... Uh, career they thought he was a little too overconfident he seems to be settling down with time age will do that mr mccann <laughs> thank you <laughs> Slim, seemingly looks uh, uh a little rough at the edges though I, I, as you said pazienza is extremely alert extremely fast he seems to be now being penalized for something well, he got a good snap he left in during that last sequence and a pretty good uh, show of sportsmanship uh, just a moment ago. Bruno Simile uh, fought twice for the Italian lightweight title. And uh, in 1982, he was stopped by Patricio Oliva. And in 83, moved up in weight class and fought for the European junior welterweight title. And that was stopped. And uh, the winner was Giuseppe Martinesi as we get a good look at Lou Duva. As time winds down here in round number one, we head for the bell. So round one is history. And it's round two, scheduled for eight. And green trim, those are the colors of the Italian flag. And the man in the green with the white trim, uh, Bruno Simoli, a member of Team Totip. That's the number one boxing unit in uh, Italy. And we got a good look at the third man in the Vinny Pazienza corner. That is the father of Vinny Paz, Angelo Pazienza, who is very much behind his 21-year-old son. Vinny won his first fight, in fact, on his dad's birthday, May 26th of 1983. And that's got to be the ultimate birthday present for a man in this uh, business. Yes. Uh, 
But Pazienza really has listened to Lou. You can see the way he's throwing that jab. And he did connect with two left hooks. He's attempting that left hook because uh, seemingly is dropping his right. Well, we'll see if he continues to snap that jab in the face of Bruno Simile. It appears to me that Simile has been hit with a lot of jabs because he does, as I said earlier, he does seem to have an awful lot of scar tissue uh, up in his eyes. And there's that left hook that we were talking about. Simile, a straight-on fighter. He's a puncher. Very durable, and his best weapon is a straight right hand. But so far, he's been unable to tag and catch the speedy Vinny Pazienza. I know. Paz really hasn't befuddled. He just doesn't seem to know what to do with Paz. Paz's best weapon, as you have been seeing here, is his speed. He is lightning quick. Paz has a, a very, very wide spread. He's got a wide leg spread. I, I kind of believe that if he shortened up that spread of his legs, he'd have more power in his, uh, his right hand, although he did throw a pretty good right cross at that time. He's throwing very good combinations. Here's a caution by referee Spolverato. I think the referee probably has had a lot of experience in uh, amateur boxing because he seems to be using the same uh, expressions and the same moves as the amateur referees. Well, the crowd is getting on Vinny Paz as seemingly was spun around. Paz continued to punch. Yeah, below the belt also. Yes, it appeared to be here. I think you pointed it out so very well the last time we did uh, fights from Italy. The fact that the referees over there across the Atlantic. Yes, like he appears to be here right now. He's very much into the fight. He would be better off if he'd stay away from the fight and let the uh, young men go to it. Well, Vinny Pazienza continues to press the attack. He has been the effective aggressor throughout from the opening bell. There's a good right, uh, snappy right by Paz, and some of these punches are connecting, and seemingly looking to Bob and Weaver well. As the bell sounds to round N uh, N right Lightweight champion. Here it is to round three. It's scheduled for eight. Vinny Pazienza in the uh, white trunks, and Bruno Simili of Pisa, Italy, is in the green. And uh, Vinny Paz continues to be the aggressor. Oh. Ace Morata, who's the cut man. And Vinny Paz's corner is a very, very good cut man, and he seems to be very, very attentive to Paz's eyes. When that last to flurry, uh, again, good indication, illustration of the hand speed of Vinny Pazienza. Now, Pazienza is throwing that left hook beautifully because he has detected the fact that uh, Simile is dropping that right hand, and he's, he's, he's done it well many, many times. Well, the step up in weight class doesn't seem to be affecting uh, Vinny Pazienza negatively at all. He's fighting at 140, usually fights as a lightweight, and well, Steve Lee is 141. Yeah, Steve, it hasn't hurt his feet at all. He seems very, very quick tonight. He's very aggressive, and he's, uh, he's extremely uh, alert in the ring. Confident as usual. Now, that's uh, the best exchange Steve Lee can deliver in this fight. Seemingly looking to back Pazienza into the corner, and the quickness of Paz able to slip and slide away. He just scrambled out of trouble. You can see signs of the effectiveness of uh, Pazienza's jabs on Simile's face. He's, uh, he's, really, uh, he's really taking it now around the head. I notice that Paz is really striking for the head more in this fight than he is for the body. This is a vintage, if you can say vintage, at the age of 21. Vinny Pazienza, a whirling dervish, coming at his opponent at all angles. And non-stop. Very busy, Vinny Pazienza. I'd like to point out that this is a very, very fast ring. It's a small ring. It looks like it's probably an 18-footer. And, of course, that speeds is up the fight. There was a low blow. Vinny hit him low. Ooh, great combination by Vinny Pazienza. Then a right. And a standing eight count now for Bruno Simile by the referee Giovanni Spoberato. Vinny Paz goes right back at Bruno Simile, and that is it. And that's it. That was a wise move on the part of the referee. 
A very dejected Bruno Simili. And a good hand for Vinny Pazienza, who extends his record to 14 and 0 and 12 knockouts. He won his first 11 fights as a pro by KO. And uh, coming in, he had won uh, two by decision over Michael Golden and Richie Blood McCain. And now he picks right back up and KOs uh, Bruno Simili right here. A very disconsolate Bruno Simili is. Uh, as Vinny Pazienza goes over and has a few words with Bruno. Now that was his father, of course, giving him a little water. I think the gentleman in the ring might be uh, his uh, father's brother. So Angelo Pazienza, the dad of Vinny Paz, has to be extremely elated. Uh, Pazienza is going in very strong. He's throwing every combination. That left hook was a great left hook because he dropped his right, and Paz, of course, <laughs> took advantage of every move there and hit him with a deflecting right cross. So Vinny Pazienza just picks up where he left off. He has never lost. And right now, I think he looked very good at this uh, added weight. He, uh, he's stronger. Now he had no problem whatsoever at 140. Uh, you can see Seemley took a terrific head beating in this fight. He's all swollen and red. And there he took two straight right. And then that left took to the body, which was a ra rather low. But it wasn't meant to be that low. And that right cross and that left hook is a vicious left hook. And the referee came in and stopped the fight in the nick of time, really. So Vinny Pazienza, who passed up a chance for the 1984 Olympic team to turn pro because of his style, which is more suited for the pro ranks, doesn't matter whether he's fighting in his native New England or in Atlantic City or here in the Italian Alps. Vinny Pazienza always seems to get the same results, a victory. And tonight, no difference.